Good afternoon, welcome, and thank you all for joining us. And before we start off, let me just introduce you to the Film Pirate team, which is Fahim, Trevor, and myself, Lynn. Um, starting with Fahim, he'll talk a little bit about himself. Hello, I'm Fahim Hossein. I recently graduated from Manhattan College with a Bachelor in Computer Science, and I have a minor in business. After graduation, I wanted to make a social media, but I didn't have the knowledge. So in order to gain more knowledge, I joined DEF 10. And I have to say I made the right decision of joining here. All right. Oh, all right. Hello, my name is Trevor Santoli. I graduated from Stony Brook University with a bachelor's degree in technological systems management and a specialization in computer science. Um, I actually started my college career as a physics major. My first introduction to programming was with Fortran um, and it was right after that class that I made the switch, found of 10 and here I am living the dream. I'm Lynn and I graduated with a bachelor's degree in computer engineering technology for NYCCT. Um, I love to hike on weekends and read novels. I joined up 10 to improve on what I lack as a developer to build webs or standalone apps. All righty. So how do we come up with this project idea? Um, this crude diagram is actually a great representation of how we came up with it. Each of us, so previous to our capstone, each of us worked on an anime style fan page. Um, we didn't want to keep the same the same theme. So we switched it up. Uh, we did more of a fully fledged feature full movie version. Moving on, um, what problem does our website solve? Well, I can definitely tell you it's user friendly. It contains a lot of quick relevant information about the movies or shows, and it has centralized source of the available streaming services. There are really great features in our site. We have the movie and the show section where users can browse through a lot of movies that we listed and shows and they can have a quick access to where those movies or the show streams at. We also have a job section where us, the Film Pyre Corporation, our little company, um, host jobs. So if we, if we were to look for a software engineer or a front desk, we would post it over there. We also have a little form section where users can go and post their opinion on on it, on the movie or the website or if they have if they're facing any problems anything in general and then at last we have we have the admin panel where only admin have the access to and only and the admin can control the entire page through that one section they can add new movies add new shows or jobs or make changes to the form or edit them they can do a lot of things which we'll show in the demo very soon And as for the technologies for the backend, we use Java and Spring Boot. For the front end, we use React Tailwind with Daisy UI. For our database, we use MySQL. And as for the deployment, it's Docker and AWS. So the learning goals, um, we were able to implement and learn through what we have onto our site. And they were like adding dependency on our backend using Lumbach. For the front end it was like Google login and the use of streaming availability API, IMD, and using the CSS framework called Tailswind and Daisy UI in more depth. Oh, guys, just a side note, um, the Google login does not work in the deployed version due to the, SS, uh, the SSL certificate meaning that we would need that HTTPS before our, before our domain. We don't have that since this was a free um, domain. So, but if we were to have that, it would work like amazingly. It works in our testing mode, but it doesn't really work in the deploy mode, mode as of right now. All right, so let me move on to the demo. Um, so here is the front page of our website. Um, you do have to sign in before you can do anything. So I'll start off by creating a new account. Um, here's a little signing with Google. Unfortunately, it does not work at the moment. I will do this. Create my account. It has been registered. So now I'll log in once again. Gmail.com. Type in the password. Oh, okay. I might have forgotten the password before we even started. Let me try that. Oh, it's a neat little trick. Anyways, back to logging in. 
I will log in with this one. So here is our homepage. Uh, we have a beautiful slider that will automatically go through some of the movies that we have hosted on our site. Little welcome message and then brief description of some of our staff favorite movies that we also have hosted on our site. Um, to move forward, we can click on our movies tab, which has all the movies that we currently have hosted. Each of them has a picture along with a quick description. If you click on more info for each, you'll get the title, the genre, same picture, same description. Um, we also have a trailer built in for each of the movies, which you can watch right on the site. And then also our website will automatically generate um, if there's any available streaming services that have the movie, it'll generate links um, directly to them. So if I hit HBO, I don't have HBO Max, so we can't watch it, unfortunately, but it will take us directly to Dark Knight, one of the best movies ever made. Um, and from there, we can move on to our shows. Um, very similar approach. Shows have their picture, name, brief description. Um, I'll choose Big Bang Theory, one of the best shows I've ever watched. You have the title the genre and the amount of seasons, which is an addition for shows. You have your picture description, and then you have the same thing, another trailer for each. And then just like the movies, a link is generated directly to the Big Bang Theory, which you could watch if you have access to HBO Max. Um, next, I'll go into our forum. This is a little section where users can post their opinion or any news articles that they may have, any relevant news. Um, it includes the date that they were posted. So we have a lot of activity today and yesterday. Um, but to start, I will add a new post. So new season of Peaky Blinders now on Netflix. Um, so this is, this is news. I will type in my username, a new season available, make sure check it out then we can post that and you can see it's a news article new season of peaky blinders so make sure you go check that out if you have the time highly recommend it um, for our next screen we do have the jobs um, so this is the jobs that us at film pyre currently have that need to be filled um, so fahim is the manager looking for a receptionist lynn's the manager looking for a database administrator and i'm a manager looking for a field service technician um, if you'd like, you can apply as a user. Um, brief message, uh, Fahim needs your help, which he does. Yeah, so um, try to apply for a job. There's me. You can write, I am the best fit for this position. I accept the terms and conditions, and then I'll apply. I'll bring us back to the home page. Um, well, the site, I don't have much light here, so I'm going to switch it up. Um, we do have a fully, we have dark mode and light mode. Um, so I'll keep it in light mode for the rest of this. So we also do have a contact page so our users can get in touch with our administrators if there is an issue. So I'll put in my name and then we'll do my email. Uh, please add Blinders to- Just a side note guys, the username for this is automatically generated by your login and you will not be able to change that just also, so ju also, yeah just so we know that who is sending us the message okay all right so now to him i'll let you take over and you can talk about our admin page yeah um before you log out um okay okay so let's log back into the regular user i'll show you guys something um let's Suppose that a regular user tries to go to the admin panel and try to make some crazy changes. So let's try that. We, ha we have that crazy or user that wants to hack into our system, but let's see what happens. Yeah, they will not be able to do that. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, and then we also have uh, a 404 page. So let's log out so I can quickly show them um, admin stuff. Okay. There we go. So if we quickly go to movies, we'll see some new changes. As you guys can see, we can see the ID numbers to each of the movies that we posted. Those ID numbers are really important. 
you just have to memorize the ID number. So suppose that we want to make some changes in the movies for ID one, the Dark Knight. Uh, so so if we if you were to go back to the admin page, and where it says movie panel, if we were to type ID one, and we would like to edit that movie, we can just press edit, and then we can do anything we want. We can change the poster URL, make a little changes to the description, whatever we want. So we can type that. And if we were to click save and then go back to movies again, you will see. So it changed over there. Yeah. Same same thing applied for um, shows as well. So if you if you were to grab a random number from there, uh, let's say ID five. We, if we were to go back to admin, put in ID number five, and edit that show, we can edit it just right here, just like that. So you can say. Um, amazing yeah amazing korean drama and if you were to save that and go back to shows look at that it changed with that id number we can also delete shows and movies so let's delete number five so let's delete squid game so if you were to go to panel put in number five let's delete that are you sure you want to delete that yes we want to delete that so if we were to go back now it is gone. Same thing applies for movies. We can pick a random number from there. If you were to put that number in movies, so pick a random number, number seven or eight. And if you were to type that in and then press delete, that would delete the movie as well. Are you sure you want to delete this? Yes, we do. And then if you were to go back to movies, it is gone. And over here, you can also add new movies if you would like. So right now, we just deleted a movie. So let's add a new movie. So we can click Add Movie. We can put a genre of that new of, of that movie. So let's call it Action. We can put a movie title. Um, I'm thinking of Interception. Our oh, Interceptor. The, yeah, that's the new movie that came out. Uh, we can post a, We can put a poster URL. The trailer you are all from YouTube. And then um, we can write a quick description about the movie. With that, if we were to press save, there we go. If we were to go back to movies, we would see that in movies. There we go. So that's ID 11. We can do that same thing with, um, oh yeah, so. The streaming available services, those automatically generate through the new APIs that we implemented. So if you were to click on that, it will take you right to that movie in HBO Max. Now let's try to add a new show. Let's give that show a genre, a show title, a poster URL. So show the difference between shows and movies that we have it set up over here, shows have seasons. So let's put some season numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have six seasons and a quick description of that show. If we were to go back to shows, that is also added just like that. Yeah. And if we were to click that, it'll pick up the available streaming services. And it will take you straight to that show right there. Now, as for this, this is a cool plugin that we found out. This is a real time. So I can reply back. Hello, this is him from Vampire. How can I help you? Okay, so you guys get the idea. Users can directly chat with us, and it's and they can see when the support when our support team is online or not. It says on the top. You can put little emojis when you chat. Sometimes they give you the option to play Flappy Bird game if the admin is away. It happens very occasionally. It doesn't happen all the time, but if you're lucky enough, that will pop up sometimes. Yeah. Okay, now let's go back to admin panel again. If you were to scroll down a bit, we can see all the job applications. So let's look at that. We have 
Trevor Santoli. He just applied. I'm the best fit for this position. Okay, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete that. We reviewed the application. We can delete that. We can go down. User messages. Over here is the messages that you would get when you send us through the contact. So yeah, please add Peaky Blinders to the website. We reviewed that. So we, we have their email. What we can do is we will, we, we also have a real Gmail account opened up just for this site. We can email them. Hey, so thank you for your feedback. We, ha we, ha we have just added the uh, show that you requested. And yeah. I forgot to go back. So now I'll delete that as well. Let's add, let's add a new job. We need we need someone new for our yeah. Let's add a new job. Let's call it um a front desk or anything. Yeah, front desk is fine. Staff role manager. You can type your name, Trevor, location. Um, let's make it hybrid. No, let's let's just make it hybrid. All right, New York. Let's make a hybrid. Okay. Job role. Let's have a job role, and then we can have it that little. And then we just put our picture URL. So just put a random job role for now. And then over here we can put the salary and they will get to see that. Okay, we can click save. Now let's go back to the job section. There we go, ta-da. See, if you were to click that link in the, in the front desk, you will have that little description what the job is about and people can apply for the job. And yeah, oh yeah, and we also, we also have that cool drop down menu. You have to agree to the terms and condition. And yeah, I'm gonna pass this off to Lynn. She will be talking about our privacy policy for our site. So on the bottom, we have footers that goes directly to their respective links, um, starting with the about us um, privacy privacy policy. Well, who reads that nowadays? But we have it in there if you want to read. It's summarized as what happened if you use the site. So in our contact page, it's, um, in our contact page, uh, if you feel like you're lazy to scroll up to get to the contact page, it's right down there on the footer. The same step procedure, enter your info, submit, or just send, send us a direct email. Now for the FAQ page, this is where anyone can check out what kinds of questions that they have based on what existing issues or like common questions that, that was already answered. And finally, the About Us page. So this is uh, descriptive information about us if you want to learn more about us. And that basically wraps up the demo. So there were some se several challenges that we did face and which were to get the site deployed through the AWS. They were um, resolving dependency conflicts with Lombok on the back end. Then it was gained the learning goal of our Google login and streamability API to function properly. And for achievement, Trevor can just talk about that. Sure. Alrighty, so for our achievements, the streaming services availability, we accomplished that by using two new APIs that I never used previously before. Um, that was the biggest challenge for me personally. I know some of our other group members, we had some trouble utilizing Lombok at first. We got some weird errors um, in the back end, but thanks to our amazing staff and our teachers, we were able to quickly resolve that. Um, probably the biggest achievement for us, this is the, the first time that we've built a fully developed software. Um, from the ground up, it's a huge thing. Uh, most of us have been coding, you know, for only three months, and here we are able to make full staff applications. So it's pretty amazing. Um, we're also very proud of our UI. We took a lot of time to really dial it in and get everything lined up properly. Um, we have full blown security. Um, not anyone can do admin tasks. You actually have to be an admin. And of course, we successfully deployed to AWS after working through many hardships. All right. Any questions, guys? I think the chat had a couple. 
Yeah. That was really, really cool. I was really impressed by just the number of features and, and what you were able to put together there. That was a very rich application. So let's start with Brendan. Um, the auto-populating streaming providers per movie or show is very cool. Can you talk about what technologies you use to make that work? Uh, yes, I can. So I actually have the two, she have them up here. I figured that was a question that would be asked, so I will show you. Um, so the way I did it was I utilized this streaming availability API, which takes in a, where is it? Takes in, oh, it's down here, I apologize. Basic utilities, get basic, okay. So it takes in, what am I looking for? Get basic, here it is, get basic. Okay, the website does not want to work. Okay, so basically this API takes in an IMDB ID. So we had to use the IMDB API to get the IMDB ID and then pop it into this API. And then this returns a massive uh, JSON that we then had to search through to extract each individual streaming service. Um, the API actually made the links for us. So we just had to extract that from the JSON and then populate it on our website. Really neat. I mean, that made that made for a very um, cool, I mean, like real, real life experience. I really like that. Um, David says, love the live support chat feature. How was that implemented? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, so there's a website called Chris, Crisp Chat, if you were to go there and you can sign up for free. They would give you that quick script. All you do is copy that script and put it in your index file and it works like magic. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Sure, it was that easy, right? There's it no is that easy. in that. That is, it is that easy, yes. All right, well, congratulations, you guys. Amazing application that you guys built. I, I'm serious, this was really, really cool. You should be incredibly proud. I mean, not only did you do this in such a short amount of time, but it's not just the, the depth and the, the unique features you came up with. I think uh, Dave Kidd and Beth Raymond have a suggestion for a job and they would like you to hire them for it to review movies. For yes, them. So. Um, <laughs> sure, you can apply and we'll hire you. Well, let's do right after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Well, congratulations, you guys. Huge round of applause. Really well done.